Well, hello guys and welcome to another chapter in Europa Universalis in our um, let's play of Brandenburg. Uh, well, um, the situation right now is that I'm at peace. Uh, we are in, um, well, we have just gotten out of a war versus the Teutonic Order. Um, some <laughs> really <laughs> dangerous moments in, in that war. And, well, right now the plan is just chill. Um, our, our realm is um, having some troubles with uh, war exhaustion. I don't really have a huge manpower pool. I can't really stand any more wars. And besides, m my neighbors hate me. Uh, most of them, a lot. Even my vassals don't like me a lot. So, yeah, uh, we are going to try to stay out of harm's way for, for a while and lay low and try to do nothing but uh, increasing our um, technology and, uh, well, our infrastructure, infrastructure. So let's get started and let's go. Uh, okay, we have uh, Pomerania leaving uh, the coalition that's formed against us. I know Bohemia is still there. No, we don't have any longer a coalition against us. Yeah, it seems that there's no one in coalition versus us. Okay, that's good. That's very good. Um, okay, Fraticelli heretics have risen up in near Lautitz. Okay, so we have a problem of heretics here. Hold on a second. Nah, no, not really. See, yeah, something that happens now uh, time to time. Alrighty, so let's increase our aiming maintenance. Um, let's leave these guys, increase their uh, morale, and then go for them. A golden era for culture. With, pe with peace in our country, uh, the great musicians, artists, and poets are rejoicing in the capa capabilities of entertaining the their betters. This era of cultural enlightenment is definitely improved by in the mood of Brandenburg. Grain gain five prestige. Well, nothing too big, but always welcome. All right, Holy So Savoy seems to be the new center of power of, on the empire. Not here. I have good relations with them. That's nice. That means I'm not going to get into trouble with the Emperor. Let's see. I'm voting for myself. Mm, this is weird. Oh, okay. They have two votes for uh, um, for Savoy. One for the Palatinate, of course. They are voting for themselves. And Saxony and Cologne are voting for Austria. So, yeah. Seems that Austria is losing a little bit of power after so many wars. Probably they will recover that. What's this? Styria. What? Really, Austria is, is, is in a terrible state right now. Okay, let's deal with these guys. It's already done. Let's leave them to increase their numbers, which they did. Let's reduce the army maintenance so we can still make money each month and keep on going. An alliance far from Austria. No. No, because these guys are going to go to war. I mean, it's pretty obvious they will want to recover the lands they lost. Uh, they lost a lot. Really. So, what's this? Luxembourg occupied by Flanders, occupied by Flanders. Wow, Flanders is doing something really big here. Okay, a lot of uh, rebels up here. That's kind of cool. Uh, we can invest in a new technology. Uh, which is diplomatic. We can build embassies. This will give us one extra diplomat. Uh, and uh, we'll um, increase the, crea the cost for other nations to uh, create cores on cl or claims in our country. The problem is you have to build this thing and it's not cheap. But still, we want that. Let's move on. We want to move into... I don't know if I want to <coughs> increase administrative technology or go with an idea first. We'll see that.
Well, that's a lot of rebels. Uh, and these guys are still in the war, yeah, but they are losing it badly versus Poland and Lithuania. So, yeah. So this is going to be mostly it. We are going to stay in laying low, doing nothing but mm, focusing on ourselves. And let's start building a temple in Nidalazic. We have a lot of um, buildings already built up, so that's good. The ones that I'm not concentrating on are mostly military and probably I should start doing so because I want to raise my manpower. And those buildings of course help with that. I'm going to raise the news so if we, we can see some big news up down here. We can see we can build armory and marketplace. Marketplace I'm not worried with because uh, what increases your market power, or your trade power. I'm I'm not really into trading right now. We are not a trading nation anyway, so so several truces are going to expire in three years. That's a long way, so no big deal. Rules possible. What the hell is going on in the lawsuits? War exhaustion, yeah, war exhaustion increase, uh, increases a lot um, the chances of, of rebels. Nationalism, yeah, nothing to worry about, to be honest. Uh, we have some Saxon pretender rebels in Saxony. No, 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 what the hell? We don't want that. We are the kings there. So. Let's get rid of those guys. We don't need a huge morale increase, so we'll get them going already. And that's enough. Don't fall. That's a pretty important stuff to do because, of course, <laughs> royal rebels, they wanted to put another king, and I'm the king there. <laughs> So, yeah, it's n n no chance for that, buddy. There have been a lot of suggestions in the comment section that I should vassalize um, Pomerania. No, I'm not look at that. Austria declared war in Serbia. I knew he, they were going into a war. I knew that. Uh, but no, vassalizing things is not an option right now. I mean, I, I really need to get rid of my, of my bad prestige of... Uh, Vassalizing and, and <coughs> forcing personal unions on other nations. Because if you look at this, you see that we ha still have a minus 83 aggressive expansion without neighbors. So that's a pretty huge, huge deal. And I can't really allow myself to to be too unpopular. Because if I want to stay out of wars and I, all I get are coalitions against me, it's not going to be good. So soon enough, war air will be old enough to to raise to. It. There you go. We have a new king, Wilhelm Friedrich the First von Hohenzollern. Administration one. This is very bad. Diplomacy three. This is pretty good. Military five. This is awesome. A uh, new heir of the throne. Let's look at that. Which is. Peace poor at diplomacy, but very good at economics. I'm going to hire an advisor here, a plus one, because I need, I need a better uh, administrative power input each month. And I'm going to go with one of the cheap ones, of course, 1.3 ducats monthly. Uh, we have a yearly inflation reduction, which is meaningless because we don't have any. But I'm getting this because with this we will get a plus one in our um, monthly increase of um, administrative, administrative power. Our king is very weak in, in administrative and I'm lagging behind in administrative power. So yeah, we want that. Constable in needle of seats. So let's build that.
So how is this cobalt still dragging on? Minus 27. Really, the Teutonic Order should settle for, for, for a piece there. I don't like Poland having Danzig. Mm. A prominent natural philosopher is forwarding new claims that contradict religious truths. Oh, that usually happens. The clergy demands that he be, st he be stopped and turned over for punishment. Either way, this will cause great turmoil in the realm. Support the clergy, lose one stability. We win missionary strength. We don't need that at all. We lose techno whoa, plus five percent to the cost of technology, uh, and we are going to lose stability anyway. Shit. Okay, I'll go with this, of course. Yeah, well, we still are neutral, so that's something at least. Um, yeah, that's what you do when you lay low. You simply let time pass. And you look at how things... Okay, the Elector, Savoy is again the Emperor. They are increasing their Imperial authority, 31%. I don't... I really should start moving towards destroying that, but well. I'm still not nowhere near powerful enough. Uh, Hess is in a war versus Mainz. Well, is in a lot of wars versus Cologne, Mainz, Wurzburg, Mosberg, Lundburg, and Rittenburg. Well, these guys are fact. Teutonic order. They tell us of uh, internal conflicts. <laughs> yeah. Well, <coughs> I wonder why. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> And this is conquered by Rutenberg. And this is by Cologne. Well, Hess is in a pretty bad spot right now. Which is all cool because they are growing very powerful and I don't want be them to be so much powerful. I had a diplomat there which I'm going to call back. Uh, return, please. Thank you. He has increased our relations there enough. And I'm wondering which would be a good ally for me. Because Poland is not going to be there for a long time in the future. Denmark is an option. Austria is not. Maybe we will be on our own for a while. Similar Army is back. Okay, what I want is to increase our relation with People we are not going to go to a war with. The Palatinate, for instance. We don't have any quarrel with them, so let's try to increase our, our relations. We are at full, yep, yeah, full power. Uh, by the way, others of you have um, commented that I should start um, vassalizing, uh, well, uh, annexing um, nations. The thing is that you need, well, actually, this is close to, to that point. We are able to offer uh, them a vassalizing from 14... 73, 79, which is two years in the future. The problem is that we are at too low a relation and we won't get this up very easily. This one is in Saxony. To integrate this, I have to wait until, look at that, still 40 years to go. But Rutenberg, yeah, that's sooner. And Saxony, I have al already a good relation with, so I'm going to recall this diplomat and send it to Rutenberg to improve relations there and to start moving um, towards a future um, a future um, annexation and of course uh, I'm going to offer them a royal Moritz how I'm no I don't really want to take the legitimacy uh, hit 
It's time you get into a royal morbid, you lose a little bit of legitimacy, and I don't want to lose any. So, right now. And Poland got Danzig. And that's a future objective for us. So, yeah. Sooner or later, Poland and Lithuania are going to be our enemies. Royal Murray suffer from Poland. Well, we are allies. We are allies. And even so, in the future, we are going to war versus them. It will be a good... Yeah, I'm going to accept that. Still, I lost legitimacy, which I don't like. But, yeah. That's a sensible thing. I mean, in the future they are going to be enemies, but right now I can't deal with them. So finally, technology. The limber. We will get uh, artillery fire plus one. We will get a better military tactics and we'll get a better infantry fire and artillery fire. We can actually build artillery, but as we are at the um, um, strongest, uh, we can. We can go any Mm, any more over 12 okay England end of the war of the roses about time um, we are already at the top of our first limit so we can't we can build new troops but it would cost us a lot so I'll build artillery when I can right now I can't corrupt bureaucracy oh cool nice we lose some national tax modifier. Well, it's a little bit less money, but shouldn't be that huge of a deal. Hopefully. Excellent year. Some of our grain farms are having an excellent year, allowing us to free more troops and increasing our manpower. That's good, and I need that. Oh, we are coming back nicely. Maximum is almost 15,000, 15, sorry. And uh, we are close to that. So we are recovering nicely from the wars. Where exhaustion is very low. And will come lower, of course. As time goes by. I'm going to increase the, the speed of the simulation. Because right now there's nothing really big happening. At least no, nowhere near us. Because Hess is in a mess. And down here... Austria well, Austria is going to lose a lot of territories because of rebels. Opposing military schools. Occasionally, occasionally hostilities will erupt between opposing military schools. Attack is always the best option. We lose one stability. We will get a bigger force limit modifier and a big discipline. And Why? I don't want to lose stability. I'm going to have to spend more administrative power. Damn it. More morale, more discipline. I'm going to go for more discipline. And I'm going to enforce it because I don't want to be negative. Uh, to spend administrative power to bring it up again. And we are dragging again back in... In development of administrative technology. That's not good. Okay, we have more pretenders here, we have pretenders here, I have to deal with these guys. So, let's send our soldiers and teach those guys a lesson. Well, Saxony did for us here, which is pretty cool. And I'm going to do that in Saxony. We have a Casus Belli, experience, well, I don't care. I don't care about my, my land, or Milan. Bohemia has entered into a military coalition versus us. Why? Well, they are outraged at us. Well, fuck you, buddy. I still have Poland backing, so... Yeah, I'm cool with that. <coughs> okay, let's finish recovering our forces. Which is already done. And now let's reduce the enemy maintenance. I'm back on track. Yeah, Austria is losing everything <coughs> he has here. <coughs> so, 
Sorcery is reduced to a very mediocre power because most of its strength comes into play if they inherit Burgundy and that hasn't happened. So, yeah, that's bad for them. And I don't know exactly if it's good for us or not because that would be a good uh, ally until the reformation happens. But, well, things go as they go. Let's see how we are doing in tech. We are coming close to diplomatic administrative. I'm I'm lagging really, really, really bad behind in administrative technology. In military power, I'm top notch, but I really want to. Okay, our manpower reserves need to recover. Accomplish five prestige, ten army tradition. That's very good. Mission. Prove legitimacy. We will need a legitimacy of 100%. We get uh, prestige administrative power. Improve relations with Thuringia. At least 100%. Our conquest. Oh, she is here. Really? Actually, I'm going to go with this because we are already working on that. We have a um, diplomat there. So, yeah, that's going to be our objective. By the way, I want to check. This guy must be pretty old and soon is going to die. So, army tradition 55. I want to get a, a general. Which is pretty shit. Our army tradition is, is degrading. Oh, we have a higher force limitive, limiter. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Recruit regiment. A couple of cannons. And then one minus mina farms. So we will cover the fifteen we have right now. The problem is that I think that force limit modifier is because of the event. Or yeah, increased offensive. Uh, I don't know if I can stand sustain that in the long run, but well. I really need some artillery and I really need to increase forces a little bit. We have lost the additional arrows come Casus Belli versus Hess because Hess has gotten his ass totally and absolutely kicked. Okay. That's good. One less contender. We have uh, stopped in trying to increase relation with the Palatinate because we are at our top. Plus 63 is very good. We are going to offer a royal marriage to these guys because that will increase our relation with them. And we can invest in a new idea organizing construction. After that we have National Bank, after that we have Debt and Loan. The really good stuff start happening very high there and I'm lagging really behind in technology so I'm, I'm going to not go for ideas for the moment being. Local Pretender Rises. In order to ensure the glory of our country we have to restrict lo local privileges. The problem with privileges is that people get very attached to them for sentimental reasons. Now some power hungry idiot has declared himself the true ruler of our country and many hopefuls flock to his banner because he has promised to restore loyal privileges. Oh with his head. And we have followers of uh, Johann Friedrich Pelkowski who styles himself Johann VI Pelkowski and lays claim to the Brandenburgian throne. So should he die his rebellion will die with him. So it's all very good that we started putting up some new troops because we're going to need them. Uh, the request of military heads from Pomerania, yeah, of course. No problem with that. Those are a lot of rebels, and that's good. And that's even better. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Polish. 
That's that's a nice touch from you. Thank you very much. And now I can reduce my expenses, and the pretenders will get crossed by the Polans, by the police. That's cool. That's They're really they, they, these guys are handy. I'm going to hate to 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 go against them in, them in the future because they are doing really nice stuff to us. Well, yeah, they actually did. They saved our asses back when we were going against 21,000 uh, soldiers of the Teutonic Order here. So, yeah. The, Poland has been a really worthy ally. I'm gonna tell you that. Okay, finally, we get the three field rotation. More production efficiency and farm states, which are factories that you can build in provinces that produce grain and increase your in income but they are pretty expensive anyway we need that because further away we have another idea and they go to unlock that as soon as possible uh, we we'll need 468 power to unlock the next level of technology We have Illinius in there. General Lost Lindikov is dead, and now we only have that. But it's, I mean, it's not that it's bad, it's that he's got his stats in, in a worthless position. He's very, he, he moves very quickly, but once in a battle, he doesn't give any benefits. Probably I want another general in the future. We'll see about that. Okay, new technology, double ambitions. More naval morale, which I don't care about, and more colonial range, which I don't care about, but let's go with it. And Thuringia is already at 100 increased relation with us. Nice. When it hits 180, we can start uh, and exiting them. Missions. Make Bohem Bohemia vote for us. They are in a coalition against us. Come on. Uh, prove legitimacy. We are winning how much? Less than one point each year. So this will be 40, 33 years to accomplish. No. Too long term a goal. And let's keep on going. Nothing happening, which is pretty cool. We have discovered that Pomerania has cancelled the right to a military access they had on us. Okay, no big deal. Not worried about that at all. Burgund is making a nice comeback here. Austria is in a war versus Venice. Really, these guys can't help but getting into wars. I'm glad I stood away from, from an alliance there. Okay, let's check for a second. How was, is our aggressive expansion? Is it still very high on close nations? But still, we are losing it pretty quick. So, Bohemia has left the military coalition against us. That's good. They are threatened, but they are not rated anymore. A new cardinal. Von Rottenburg has become a cardinal. He's legend to France. Well, and so, yeah, nice. I don't care. I mean, I'm out of the fight for the um, fight of the to, to get a pope in Rome I don't care about that so okay national institutions as of late more and more people are requesting representative national institutions the tax says one <laughs> one stability again give the way they want Actually, I think I'm going to give them what they want. 
The reason why this will cost me 90 diplomatic power. This only cost me 35 administrative power. Diplomatic power and military power I'm not especially worried about at the moment. I'm top notch in technology in, in military and and diplomatic, but in administrative I'm lagging behind, so it's the last of the evils here. Because I'm not going to stay in negative uh, stability, no matter what, so, yeah. But really, why all those things? Oh, Holstein is occupied by Saxony. That's, this is probably a war for the Empire. Wow, these guys are in a war versus a lot of people. <laughs> Nice Pope, I don't care, like, at all. More local recruiting. Our decision to ensure that local privilege will be honored has meant that peasants are keen to defend their villages. This in turn has the added benefit of people being less resentful about serving in our military. Gain some manpower, that's cool. And I'm going to go read that uh, 90, 40, 84. 10 years of action, 10 years of non-action, actually. Austria is, is warring versus everyone. They are going to get hated in no time. And I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to put it at, well, 1945, 1985. Let's call it one more year and that will be it. And as you can see, in this one, we were mostly peaceful. Nothing really important happened. Now and then you need that. Whoa, Lithuania! You are getting your ass kicked by Moscovy. Moscovy is actually a very nice ally in the future for when the time when I want to go versus Poland and Lithuania. Because I'm going to... Oh, that's it! Returned to the Tonic Order. This is really good news. Really good news. How is our relation? Yeah, we are getting better and better here. Probably that means that soon enough, and I'm going to send a diplomat here as well to improve relations. Um, this means that soon enough we can start assimilating uh, Thuringia, which will add a pretty nice province to our, our nation. Uh, okay. Austria declared war on Styria. Yeah, why, why I'm not surprised. Wars, 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 and more wars. I knew that was going to happen. That's why I stood well clear from that. Seems that Pomerania is in a war versus Lumburg and Cologne. Hmm, this is interesting. Seems that they are expanding, they are trying to get um, Lumburg. If they spend too much, we might get a casus belli on them for being scum bastards. <laughs> France and Burgundy, not entirely unexpected. Yeah, well, enough of, of cannon fire. Alrighty. Naive relative. A close member of the family of a ruler, or ruler has proven an utterly naive and keeps telling foreigners with their information publicly. This is technically treason, but executing a member of the royal team might cause unrest. Execute him for treason, administrative power, compromise the spy defense, and lose some spy defense for 10 years. I can't really lose any anymore. I mean, no deal. I can't keep on bleeding administrative power w with a ruler that doesn't have good administrative power writings. So, no. No deal. You can see that military, w militarily we are doing really well, but that the technology for military is really expensive because we are, we are at the edge. So... After we are done with Pike and Sword, the next tech will cost more than 1,000 
for the time being because you get a penalty if you go too far ahead of the of the era so I'm going to have to find some things to do with with this because it's capped at 999 so once you get to the cap it won't increase and you want to put them to your good use we'll see what we do when that happens unrealistic missions to be honest so we can build an armory marketplaces I don't care about marketplaces and I want to save money so no more buildings for the time being okay we can increase pagan sort training fields we can build them march which is a special building which increases manpower a lot and local defensiveness and increases military tactics, increases the combat width, and increases the cavalry shock. So, yeah, and look at that. The next one would cost 1,400 power, and it's capped at 999. So, yeah, we are not going to reach there for a long time. So, probably what I'm going to do is to get another. Okay, it's already. Uh, 4085. Um, 1485. Um, what we are going to do in the next chapter probably is going to start an exciting in Thuringia because we are really close to that. And we are going to get another general because I don't care about losing some monthly income of uh, military power because I don't have an obvious um, use for that military power in buildings but I'm not going to spend a lot in buildings right now I don't have a huge income and I don't want to spend that in military buildings I don't really need at the moment we are also going to stand being a little bit more active if we see a good chance or a good um, moment to go um, with a war versus maybe po sorry, Pomerania or maybe finally take Breslau who, co who knows we may do that I don't know, but this has, has been this has been ten years of total peace and total calm, and that has been really good because we are now with no war exhaustion at all. We are in a pretty nice situation, and our um, neighbors are sta starting to stop hating us. So yeah, that's it for this chapter, guys. Um, hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed. And well, let me know what you think in the comments section below. As always, thank you very much for watching and see you all later.